Hey guys, I'm just going to show you really quickly how to uh, set up and turn on the Bandrex 32. So I'm not going to get in-depth into anything here um, of any of the features or anything. Just make sure everything's turned on and plugged into the right places. Um, so first off, um, give it power. So hit the, uh, the same surge projector we've been using down there. If that doesn't immediately power up the board, check the uh, power switch here on the back. Um, it's right here on the bottom right corner right above the power cord. Flip it up. These lights will light up. This will start doing stuff. And in just a second, all these faders are going to fly to where they're, um, their previous position. So however it was turned off last, um, those are going to resume their position there just like that. The screen will come on. Lights will light up all over the place. Very pretty. Um, a couple things to check. Make sure that this wireless router, that's what this is right here, uh, is plugged in. So you've got the um, Ethernet cord in the back there. And then the other end of the Ethernet cord goes right here into the back of the board. Let me move this so you can see a little bit better. Um, and there's a little light that indicates that it's on. Right here, it says remote control. And there's an Ethernet jack and a USB jack. We want to make sure it's right here. There's another Ethernet jack down over on this end of the board that says Ultranet. That's not where we want it. We want it in here. Um, also, there's a USB cord right here. This one's gray. It might be black. Later, we ordered a different one. Um, and right above it, it says USB audio interface, and this little light lights up. Um, this is what uh, takes the uh, audio out to be recorded for uh, the music we record through this. So this is going to go to the computer that we're recording music on, which right now is a Mac Mini where we run slides from. So that's over here. Follow that cord around. comes here and gets plugged into the back, one of the USB jacks back here. If you're running... Um, that on a different computer, you're recording music on a different computer like this one, just make sure it's plugged in um, plugged in there. Right now this one's currently not set up to do that. Um, so we're using the Mac Mini. There's a whole different video about all that and how that works. Um, so you can watch that to figure out what to do there. Uh, once those things are kind of confirmed, make sure your um, audio line from whatever computer you're running music from um, is there. So if this one's where we're going to be playing songs before everybody's coming in, make sure that's plugged in. We're also going to have another cord here that's just for like, uh, you know, a phone or iPod um, for a second line for music if you need it. Um, eventually, this is where um, you're going to want to make sure you track down the USB drive that's going to be, um, or the teaching's going to be recorded. It's the same one that used to get dropped off to be plugged in here. Um, it'll be dropped off to be plugged in here. If you don't find that, there's... Um, an extra one that we'll keep back here that you can plug in just in case. But um, when teaching starts, you're going to want to have that because that's where we're going to record it. Um, and that's pretty much it. We'll get into all this and what to do here um, in just a minute. But that's how you set everything up. Obviously, uh, you, plug in, you plug in your headphones as well. The headphones, um, the headphone jack is actually in. There's a handle on the side, and it's in the handle. It's hard to see here, but it's up at the top. You can feel it. That's where you plug in your, your headphones. Um, there's no need to plug in a talkback mic. Uh, it's built in here. We'll talk about that in one of the other features, but there's actually a mic on the board. If you prefer it, you can plug in a talkback mic as well um, and use that into this jack right here. But you really don't need to because you've got one. You've got one here, and it works pretty well. We've used it uh, so far. So that's the basic setup. Um, there'll be a lot more detail coming in other videos, but if you have any questions, uh, about that, then feel free to let one of us know. All right, great.